Hello friends, now we will see how to convert fractional octal number to its equivalent decimal fractional number. In this tutorial, we will be solving two different type of problem. One is the fractional octal number. Another problem is a combination of fractional and the integer part. First, we will see how to convert the fractional number 0.14. First, write the fractional number 0.14. After this fractional point, the weight is 8 power minus 1. Then the next digit has weight as 8 power minus 2. Then 8 power minus 3, it goes on. Before the fractional point, the weight is 8 power 0. Then 8 power 1, 8 power 2, it goes on. The first step is we have to multiply each digit with its corresponding weight. Take the rightmost digit 4, 4 into its weight associated with the digit is 8 power minus 2. So 4 into 8, 1 by 8 squared that is 4 by 64. The, if you divide 4 by 64, 1, 16. So 1 by 16, we will divide 1 by 16 here, 1 is less than 16, put point at 0, now 10 also less than 16, so put 0, add one more 0 here, 100 divided by 16 is 6 is the quotient, 6 into 16, 96, the remainder is 4, add 0, that is 40 by 16 is 2, 2 into 16 which is 32, the remainder is 8, so 8 also less than 16, add one more 0, 80 by 60 is 5, 5 into 16 is 80 so the remainder is 0 so the 1 by 16 is point zero six two five. then take the next digit 1 1 into the weight associated with the digit is 8 so 1 into 1 by 8 power 1 that is 1 by 8 1 by 8 can be written as 1 by 8 is 0 0.1250 so the integer part is 0 so we can leave that now we have to sum this 0 0.0625 with 0 0.1250 so 5 2 plus 5 7 6 plus 2 8 0 plus 1 1.0 so the octal number 0.14 can be written as 0.1875 base 10 now we will see how to convert the octal number to 17.26 first take the integer part to 17 so the weight associated with the rightmost digit is 8 power 0 then 8 power 1 then 8 power 2 now we have to multiply each digit with its corresponding weight. So 7 into 8 power 0 that is 7 into 1 is 7. Take the next digit 1. 1 into 8 power 1 that is 8. Next digit is 2. 2 into 8 power 2 that is 2 into 64 that is 128. If you sum these 3, that is 7 plus 8 is 15 plus 8, 23, 3, 
so 2 plus 2 4 1 4 3 so the octal number 2178 can be written as 1 4 3 base 10 next take the fractional part 0.26 After the fractional point, the weight is 8 power minus 1. Then the next digit have weight as 8 power minus 2. Multiply this digit 6 by its corresponding weight 8 power minus 2. That is 6 by 8 squared that is 64. That is 3. Here if you divide by 2 that is 3, 2. So divide 3 by 32. Now we will divide 3 by 32. 3 is less than 32. So add 0. Put point. 30 also less than 32. Add one more 0. So add 0 here. So 300 by 32 is it will come around 9 times so 9 into 2 is 18 remaining is 1 so 3 into 9 27 plus 1 28 so 10 minus 8 2 9 minus 8 2 12 12 is less than 32 add 0 120 by 32 it will come around 3 times so 3 into 2 6 3 into 3 9 so 10 minus 6 that is 4 11 minus 9 2 so 24 is less than 32 add 0 240 by 32 it will come around 7 times 7 into 2 14 the remaining is 1 7 into 3 21 plus 1 22 so 10 minus 4 6 1 my 3 minus 2 is 1 So 16 also less than 32 add one more 0 160 by 32 is it comes around 5 times so 5 into 32 5 into 2 10 0 remaining is 1 5 into 3 15 plus 1 16 0 so 3 by 32 is 0 0.09375 then take the next digit 2 2 into the weight associated with the digit is 8 power minus 1 so 2 by 8 that is 1 by 4 1 by 4 is nothing but 0.25 now we have to add this 0.25 plus 0 0.09375 so put three zeros 5 plus 0 5 7 plus 0 7 3 plus 0 3 9 plus 5 14 1 plus 2 3 point zero that is 0 0.34375 this is for the fractional part 0.26 now we have to club both integer part answer and the fractional part answer so the octal number 217.26 base 8 can be written as 143.26 three four three seven five base ten thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos